been back here since the storm. So let's go, uh, let's walk around a little bit and see if we can find some marbles first. And then we'll start everything up. 44, I don't know what that's going to be. I guess it's that. Look at that. What is that? Plugs are out tonight, aren't they? Man. Looks kind of fancy. Hmm. That's a pin. It's an old pin of something. Hmm. Okay. We'll get it later. Well, this ended up being like a lead pewter piece of jewelry. It's old. It's got age. And it's a pin. It was a pin, I should say. It's kind of cool. Something good there. Let's see what that is. <laughs> hard, hard to get it. Let's see if I got it. Nope. Yeah, I did. Something right here. Whoa. Hmm. It's an old ring. Huh? That's interesting. Hmm. Clean that up at home. It's an old ring. Might have some inscription on it or something. I don't know. We'll see. It's pretty cool. Alright. Thank you, Lord. Yep. Brass ring. Men's wedding band. Broken right there where it was soldered together. Um, couldn't really find any distinguishing marks although you can see right there it may have had some initials inside of it it's just so corroded you really can't tell what it said it may it may have, it may have said 18k on it a lot of the rings back in the day were gold plated and they would say 18 karat gold on it and the people that bought them didn't know any different really because it looked like 18 karat gold, but probably just plated with 18 karat gold. <laughs> Ooh, another bottle. Now that's a cool bottle right there. Got the cork still in it. Is it? Oh, it's definitely blown. How old is that sucker? Where one bottle is, more are. Usually, it's not embossed. But that's a cool looking bottle, guys. I'm gonna get it later. That's awesome, it's all there. That's probably. I chip it. Yeah, something. Scratch it down the bottom. It's still awesome, though. Alright, we're gonna be careful here. It's a nice old, little old bottle. I don't know what kind of a bottle this would have been as far as its purpose or what it held. Um, it's in very good condition. I thought it had cracked, but it's, it's actually part of the manufacturing of the bottle. Also up here at the top, it's manufactured this way. 
The applied top is kind of strange. It's cattywampus, as you can see. It's a beautiful, like, aqua, light aqua color. And it's got iridescence all over it. Um, I, would, I would say this is probably an 1880s bottle uh, in that range date. Date range, I should say. I mean, it possibly could be 1870s. Um, it's possible, but it's not. It's not pondled. Um, it is blown in a mold, and you, it's just a beautiful bottle. Look, there's a bottle right there. You gotta be kidding me! Holy smokes, guys! Looks like it's, it's a. Oh my gosh! I gotta be so careful with that. Looks like John Ryan. Oh my gosh, guys! What the heck? It is a John Ryan. Holy Savannah. James Ray. Oh my gosh, dude. That is awesome. Thank you, Lord. James Ray. It's a James Ray. Blob. Beautiful. Iridescence on it. All right, let the show. All right, all right, thank you, Lord. That is awesome right there. James Ray, Savannah, Georgia. It's a slug-plated, embossed, blob-top soda. Clear, uh, uh, plain base. It's got the monogram embossed on the backside, James Ray. It's clear aqua, color, or like a light blue, I guess. It's iridescence is just beautiful. This would be just an awesome bottle. It still is an awful awesome bottle, but take a look at that flash crack from here all the way down to here. Unfortunately, that flash crack makes the value of this thing go way down to the bottle collectors, but it's still an awesome bottle. It'll stay in my collection, at least for now. Anyway, um, for those serious bottle collectors and diggers, I would suggest this book here. It is the Savannah Sodas bottle, or Savannah Sodas Illustrated List by Russ Butler. And inside, it well, it, it pretty much um, goes through every one of the, the different types of old soda bottles um, that you find around in Savannah. But the listing for this bottle that I found is right here. It is 10226 Smooth Base uh, front back logo. You can see there, it's the Aqua one, $35 to $50. You could ignore these prices, they're very old as far as the, the pricing. And I don't know, I, I highly doubt they're um, accurate. I mean, they're not going to be very far off of that, but. They're probably not very accurate as far as the pricing, but this is a, a good reference. Over two weeks later, I decided to head back to the same spot, same construction site, and start digging again, right next to where I'd been digging. Hmm. Could be a trine or half time. Holy thin and little. That's a coin, guys. I'm not seeing what it is right now, but my goodness, that thing is like. What the heck? That's a silver coin. 
That's a half dime. Or a trine. I think. Or well, it's a flat button. Goodness gracious, that is like. Let's see where there's oh, where there will be a shank though. I'm thinking corn. I see an edge. Hmm. I'm gonna have to look at this at home. I think I see it. I think I. See, wait a minute. I see a number. Where is that the? Huh. Is that a trine? <laughs> this is definitely a coin. That's a trine, guys. I got a trine. Look at that. Holy smokes. Awesome. Thank you, Lord. So this is a very, very corroded trine. Three, silver three-cent piece. American three-cent piece. The date is down here at the bottom. And it's a, it, what I believe it to be, it's very hard to see, is an 1853 um, trime. That's what I remember it being when I looked at it under magnification, but it is a very corroded, the star, you can see the star here on that side, and then this side has the C with the, the uh, Roman numeral three in the middle, as you can see. It's a nice old trime, bad condition, but it's a trime. Looks like a med. This could be awesome. Oh, it's embossed. Goodness gracious, what's going on over there? Oh, it's one of those Savannah. It's a, a patent med. It's a, what does it say here? Johnson's, yeah. Johnson's from Savannah. This might be. This is old. This is an older one. It's going to be beautiful, guys. Look at that. That's awesome. Thank you, Lord. I don't know if you guys can see this very well. Johnson's Chill and Fever Tonic. AB Giradu Sole Proprietor, Savannah, Georgia. This is a patent medicine from Savannah, Georgia. This is probably one of the very first ones produced. This is a very old bottle. I would put this at the early 1880s time frame. Blown in a mold. Um, I found other Johnson Chill and Fever uh, bottles in newer dumps. Um, no newer than turn of the century, but in those in that range. So this was made and distributed. Uh, around the US um, for a little while. But this is a beautiful aqua bottle. Great iridescence on it. Nice old top. No crack stings. It's a perfect, perfect condition example of this bottle. Something good there, guys. Something really good there. Let's see what that is. I might have to get in here and do it. And there it is. It's a key. Oh, that's awesome. It's a, it's a, uh, it's a uh, railroad uh, lock key. That's cool. Very cool. Thank you, Lord. That's an old key right there. Oh, yeah. It's all there. Very cool. Very cool old brass key. I believe it would be to a padlock which would be most likely be a railroad padlock 
At least that's what my experience has been in the past of this type of a key. It's a very old key. You can see it's um, hand filed uh, brass and kind of oddly shaped, <laughs> or I should say unevenly shaped, not oddly shaped, but pretty cool key. Now, if someone has any information about this exact key that's not what I said, please comment below. Definitely, definitely a good hit. 79. Uh oh, I got a coin. Or a button. What is that? Ah. It's like a... It's either a washer or a token. Or it's one of those... Wait a minute, what is that? Chinese coin. That's what that is. Chinese coin. Well, this coin cleaned up pretty well. <laughs> as well as I could ex expect it to clean up. I don't know what the date of this Chinese coin is. These, these Chinese coins, you find them periodically in these uh, older sites. Um, they, I guess they were kind of a a toy back in the day maybe even I don't know but um, you see them all over the place they go they can be really really old a few days later I headed back to the same spot for another evening hunt but this time when I got there I noticed a new giant pile of dirt that they had put right where I'd been digging nearby where I'd been digging at least so I decided to check the pile of dirt out to see if it if it had any artifacts in it Here, but I'd say junk. Wait a minute. And there it is. It's a spoon. No way. It's silver. It's not a spoon. Holy smokes, guys. That is absolutely silver. It's not a spoon though, what is it? It would have been pointy. It's very ornate. It is 100% silver. That is awesome, thank you Lord. Very, very, very ornate. Design of that. I don't know. Let's go around and see what's in here. Well, first find of the day in this pile was this piece of silver. As you can see, it's etched ornately. And I don't know exactly what this would be from. Maybe the end of a mirror handle. Something like that, because it's pointy and it's not broken off of anything, as you can see here at the bottom of this uh, pointy part. It would have wrapped around something, obviously, um, as you can see, something round maybe even like conical and it does have an M M that's etched right there in the middle as you can see right there that's around that circular little decorative thing there pretty cool piece of silver old silver Let's see what that is an 80 something 81 it's out now Let's see what we got. Yeah, I'm not gonna go in. Uh oh. Holy smokes. What do we have here? It is a button. Convex button. We need to. Uh oh. This has got something on it, guys. Wait a minute, that's not a button. That's a, that's a daggone... Is it a uh, rosette? Might be. Hold on. Gotta get this on now. Yep. Oh 
Well, there's something on there. Ooh, oh, oh, man. Guys. This could be... Definitely design. No, oh, that's definitely not a rosette. That's definitely a button. Iron shank, I think. Uh, that could be wrong. Could be a rosette. Whatever's on it, though, is fancy. Look at that. It's definitely fancy. Look at that. I don't think it's military, but it's very cool. This is just a beautiful, beautiful rosette. It is not a button. It is a rosette. And you can tell by the attachment on the back, number one, some people confuse these with buttons. And number two, it would be inset around something like a rosette, as you can see. But look at the etching on this this piece here it's brass it's hand hand etched that awesome design very cool That looks like a piece of shoe buckle right there it is it's silver is that a silver shoe buckle oh my goodness it is look at that that is absolutely a piece of a silver shoe buckle holy smokes what is going on here that is awesome guys that's a part of a silver shoe buckle. That would have been an awesome find. Or some kind of an old buckle. Well, this shoe buckle frame piece, which is the middle piece, I erroneously called silver. It is actually made of tombac, which is a light gray metal, kind of shiny looking. And in the nightlight, it looked like it was silver. But it is just a piece of tombac, which is still very cool and makes this a very old shoe frame or shoe buckle frame. Um, so this, uh, this would have been attached, this, would have, this piece would have attached to the middle of the buckle, the tongue and shape part. Pretty cool. Sixty-nine, right here. Actually, is it? Let's see. Let me get right there. Oh. There it is. It's a little button. Oh my goodness! Look at that. Oh my gosh. It is a War of 1812 cuff artillery button. Thank you, Lord. Yes. That is awesome. In completely awesome shape. Holy smokes. Guys. Yes. That's awesome. Thank you, Lord. Although not the rarest of buttons, as far as military buttons go, this is a very cool, very cool and desirable little button. It's an artillery button from the War of 1812, and this would have been an American art artillery button. With the core on the, core on the bottom written out, cannonballs stacked up next to a cannon, and the eagle above the cannon. Um, beautiful, beautiful brass button in incredible condition as you can see there awesome little button in history uh, part of the war of 1812 bullet it's 
got a wait a minute that's a different kind of bullet there thought it was a Williams it's a Williams cleaner I think it is yeah it's a Williams cleaner with a, the zinc base yep okay that's interesting in awful awful condition but this is a Williams cleaner bullet from from the American Civil War just falling apart Bye now. Thank you all for watching and God bless you all.